There are three different types of commandments, chukim, mishpatim, and edas. Edas are the type of commandments that are symbolic of something, right? Shabbat, it's symbolic of God creating the world in six days and resting on the seventh day and of taking the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Holidays, these sorts of things, the remembrances. Then there's mishpatim, commandments that are rational, right? We give tzedakah, we help people. These things make sense to the rational mind. But there's also a type of commandment called a chayk or chukim. These type of commandments are ones that no matter how hard we try, we can't wrap our brains around them. There's one specific one that I want to focus on right now. It's called the paraduma or the red heifer. And this is something that you've heard a lot about in the news recently, I'm sure. It's taking the body of a perfectly red heifer, burning it, taking the ashes and mixing it with spring water and sprinkling it upon somebody who has come into contact with the dead. Now, this is something that it doesn't really make much sense to the rational mind. Okay, it doesn't make any sense to the rational mind. In fact, Shleim HaMelech, the great King Solomon, as wise as he was, he couldn't understand this commandment at all. And neither can we. Now, to make it even more interesting, this taking of this dead heifer and using the ash water, putting it upon somebody who came in contact with death, making them pure from death, it has a very interesting side effect. The koyan, the priest, who actually sprinkles that water himself, becomes impure. So this koyan, he is making somebody pure while he himself is becoming impure. Now we can't understand the reason for this, but we can learn lessons from it. And this lesson applies very much to my counter missionary activity. So I wanna share with you a thought. Every person who is involved in this field of this counter-missionary work, every person who is willingly putting themselves out there to learn about Christianity, to teach how Judaism and Christianity are completely contradictory of each other, they're putting themselves into a state of impurity. But they're doing it the same way the Koyan did it for those who were impure from death. They're putting themselves in a state of impurity in order to bring people out of impurity and bring them to a state of purity. And the people who are engaged in this work are doing something very, very holy. They're self-sacrificing in order to bring people out of the church and help them return to the God of Israel.